Hi everyone, Livy here, back with another video. This time, for a very, very special flip through and first impressions of the Yonasa Yaus 7th edition. Yes, I was one of the very lucky people um, who managed to snag one of the pre-orders and I say very lucky because for those who don't know Yonasa Yaus, she does very interesting tarot decks. Um, and with this deck in particular, the seventh edition of this deck, she has already stated that she will not, um, she probably will not be doing another printing of this edition because it was more costly for her to make this edition. And I'm going to show you and explain why in just a little bit. It comes with this. I don't know. I'll have to look into that later. Um, pull this off. Save that for later. Um, this, I think, is an image from the deck. Now, let's talk about the Yonasa Yaus Tarot. For those who don't know who she is, um, she is a Spanish and specifically Galician tarot creator um, who is known for her very interesting decks. She is also the same creator who did the Stunning Tarot 2nd Edition that I was able to grab. Um, but this is the one I am most excited for. Not that Stunning Tarot wasn't like interesting and cool of a purchase, but this deck in particular is going to be more my style and you guys will see why but you're probably thinking why the hell would I buy this because for those who do know um the Yonasa Yaus tarot is based on Marseille well <laughs> I have this giant monstrosity now to teach me Marseille um Alejandro Jodorowsky Mar Marianne Costa the way of tarot um, basically every single thing I could probably learn about Marseille, I'm going to be learning from this book. She said, is she says it on her website, his book is the guidebook basically for this. So that's why. And the only reason why I'm, I'm interested in this deck, by the way, because you guys know too, I do not like pip decks. I don't. I don't normally like pip decks. I'm not a fan of that. And yet, stupid me, you know, doing things um, <laughs> with tarot. I have been interested, though, in learning Marseille. And the reason is because Marseille is the oldest style of tarot, you know, one of the oldest. Um, so I've been interested in learning it. And that is why I decided to buy this deck because... Oh, let's admire this box for a second, though. And if you're seeing this, yes, this deck really is long. It says it's medium, but it's a heifer. It is. I have small hands, as you guys know. Deck is bigger than my hand. But um, it's longer than it is wide, so it'll be easier for me to handle. She, you know, she also likes experimenting with size. She likes experimenting with different color shading. The seventh edition is supposed to have one of the most interesting coloring for um, her decks of this of this edition ever. And the only reason why I'm really interested in her deck too is for two reasons. Well, one, her decks are Marseille, or this deck in particular is Marseille style. But it's illustrated in a way that is not traditional, which is why 100% this appeals to me. It's because it is not a traditional Marseille. It's not depicted the same way. The pips are there, but I believe they're supposed to be more illustrated. And that is exactly why I wanted this deck, this one in particular. Um, the other reason why I've been interested in her as a creator is because, as I said, she is Galician. Um, and for those who don't know, you're, if you're not nerds enough, I don't know, like me, to want to know about history, um, Galicia is a part of Spain, but it is in the north, and it is basically bordered by Portugal, and their language is very similar to 
Portuguese. Um, it Galician probably sounds more like Portuguese I've even heard than it does Spanish. And that's important. Because the numbers, the words, the are written in Galician. So that's why I was also very interested in this deck. Um, right off the bat, let's talk about this. This gilding is so freaking cool and it exactly matches. Oh, is that a is that an oh. It would appear that one of my cards, upon even getting it, is slightly dented right there. That's a bummer. It's just dented. It's not a rib. But let's talk about that cardstock. It is very flexible, but it feels smooth enough and nice for me. Umegu, okay. Why is this backwards though? That's a little weird. Anyways, sorry, I'm like losing my mind. Um, let's get into the cards. For those of you who have any other edition of this deck, What's different about this one is the fact that it does actually have edging, the size, and the coloring. She decided to experiment once again with the colors for this deck, and I was really interested in getting my hands on this copy, and I'm glad I did. Let's see if I can find... Uh, this might be the best position for it. Right there. Okay. Let's get into this. Now, I will try to pronounce some of these um, cards only because... Okay, I can't claim I know Galician, but if Galician is supposed to sound similar to Portuguese, I can make a stab at what I think the pronunciation is supposed to be. So, for instance, this fool. This is the fool. Beautiful fool, by the way. It's very different. Um, oh, wait, no, this is not the fool. This is a magician. My bad. And it has a one. I'm so dumb. See, oh, wait a sec. Oh, this is going to bother me. Ah, see, she does this. Why the hell? So the last time I got um, a deck from her, the Stunning Tarot, fun fact, these cards are all out of order. I don't know why she does that. That's the only thing that bothers me is the cards are out of order. So this is the Magician. Number one, Umegu. Um, beautiful. But yeah, what the hell? Because immediately next... Oh, that is so cool, though. Ahoda da Fortuna. The Wheel of Fortune. If it's not Hoda, it might be Rhoda. Hoda. But in Portuguese, we would have pronounced that Hoda. Oh, that is so beautiful. Colors. I'm already obsessed. Um... Oh, a Forza. Eleven? A Forza. So, oh, because this is Marseille. I was like, what the fuck? Why is, why is strength at that number? But this is strength. So, as you can see, yeah, they're all out of order, which is kind of annoying, but, you know. Ooh, Aforgadu. Oh, Aforsadu? Is that a G? Or is that a C? I'm going to look at it closer. I can't tell. I think it's A. Uh, Aforsadu. X I I. X I I. 12? The Hangman. Uh. Maybe I'll just do the. Yeah, I'll just try to translate for you guys what these are if you if you can't already tell what they are. Um Whoa, this is interesting. Wait, what the hell? This one doesn't have a title on it. Um, excuse me. Was this supposed to have a title? <laughs> what? Uh-oh. But 23, that's not right. There's not 23. Oh, unless this is an extra card? What the hell? I'm going to figure that out. I don't know what that is. Temperance. 
Ooh, this is a cool coloring of temperance, by the way. Um, temperance. Whoa. Udiano. Uh, that's not the X, XV. Oh my God. 15. I think this is the devil. That is a really interesting devil. I don't know why depicted that way, but that's cool. Oh, the tower. Really interesting tower. The st oh, the star. Beautiful. <sighs> Alua. Lua, that would be X V I I I la la twenty. No, my bad. Is that eighteen? That's eighteen. The moon. Um, and the sun. See, I don't know why this deck is all out of order. This is the high priestess. This is really cool coloring. Some of these I can tell right off the bat. Some of these take me a little... Oh, shit. Is this death? No. This is 20. Oh, this is judgment. <laughs> I actually really like that as a judgment card. What the fuck? That is crazy. Um. Oh, this is the world. For sure. This I remember seeing her talking about. This is one of the ones she did reveal on her Instagram. This is the world. So that other card, that blank card, that was like a weird number. I was like, what the hell is that? That must be... No, I can't even... This. I don't know what the hell this is. This must be just like an... No. Yeah. No. Why isn't this named? XII. Am I an idiot? What is that? 13? Oh, this is death. But why doesn't death have its name? I don't know. I'm so confused. Anyways, we're going to move on. Because then we'll be here all day, people. Um, Utolu. Utolu. It's not... um. Shit. What is that? Well, I'm just going to keep flipping through the cards. And if that comes back to me, I'll think about what that is. Ash the Kopash. That's obviously a cup. I don't know what Utolu is. Or maybe, oh, Utolu, maybe. It doesn't have a number, so that might be the Fool, actually. I'm so stupid. And actually, before I even get to this, because I have a feeling the rest of these are, yep. Okay, I'm going to flip to this because I saw this is the Hermit. I don't know why the hell the hermit is in the back. See, this is what I mean. Like, why are all the numbers out of order? This. Eight. This must be justice. Oh, that was on the thing. Because this justice is there. Okay, and the rest are all there. I don't know why the hell this was out of order. Utolu, I think, must be the fool. But anyways, we're going to move on. Okay, now we're in the cups. This is Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, Three of Cups, Four, Five, Six, Seven. That's an interesting way to show the seven. I don't like that it doesn't show that each part could be tempting in its own way. But the B, I guess you could say the B can go to any of these. Hmm. Interesting. This is seven. Oh, what the hell? And then we have the Empress. Okay. This is what I don't... I don't understand what she's doing when she like goes through 
or does these. Maybe it's her publisher or something. They're just very confu confused. They never put it in the right order. The other one wasn't in the right order either. Okay. This is... Wait. Oh, seven. Yeah, eight. Sorry. I don't know why I was confused there for a second. The nine... Wait, if this is supposed to be nine, why are, like, half of these daisies, like, falling over? That doesn't seem to show happiness. Or this ten, really. I don't know what I think about those. Hmm. Interesting. And so, the, so that must be the page. Obviously, this is the night. Queen and the king. Ooh, that king is actually really cool. What the hell? Um, that's a cool king. We are now into ah the swords. Okay. Swords. Two. Hmm. Interesting two. Interesting. Instead of showing the typical heart smashed through, it's the flower. That's kind of cool, I guess. It's pretty. Oh. I've seen this card. This is the Emperor. See, again, why the hell is the Emperor in the middle of all this other stuff? Um, This is a cool Emperor. This is probably one of my favorite Emperors I've seen. Um, let me see if I can... I just get so annoyed. Why are these all out of order? <laughs> it doesn't... I should have put it in order for this flip through ahead of time. But I wanted to be like, ooh, I found... I have this deck. Let me show you. Um, that was my problem. Okay. Four. Five. Wait, yeah, this is six. Why is she pregnant, though? Hmm. It's been a while since I've looked at the six of swords, but I don't remember. I don't know what the visual of that is or why that's there. Seven. I also don't remember what the seven is sometimes, so I'll have to look back on that. This, I guess, is the eight. This, I understand. Visually. Nine. That's cool. I like this coloring of the nine. That's actually really cool. And... Huh. This chick in her glasses. That's really interesting. For the ten. Danger's coming right at you. Just the page, fierce looking page. The night. The queen. She looks kind of fierce too. Oh, wait. Ooh, Papa. Oh, this is the Hierophant. What the hell? Again. Again. Again, I'm going to lose my mind. This is the Hierophant. And the king. This is a really cool king. Okay, I don't know why all these kings are so fierce. Like, what? What? You didn't have to go that hard. Uh, you're so cool. Okay. Who's, ah, this is the wands. Okay. Wands. Bastus. Oh, I've seen this image around. That's the two. Okay. And the three. Four. Five. Hmm. Oh, I've seen this too. This is the six. 
The seven. This is an interesting seven. Eight. Nine. Wait. What? The hell is this? Six? Oh, these are the lovers. Once again, my mind is literally about to explode. Like, why are these out of order? Once again. But that's the beautiful lovers card. Sigh. I just know I'm probably going to find another one in here. Stupid. Anyways, this is the ten... This is the page. The night. The queen. Very interesting queen. She almost looks like a femme fatale. And the king. That's, again, I think all the kings are really cool. Like the way they were colored. Um... And now we're in Orush, so that's um, the pentacles. Two. Three. Four. Five. Whoa, this is a really cool, wait, oh, uh, Kahu, this is the, <sighs> this is the, um, chariot, that's a really cool card, but again, not in order, kind of pissing me off here, we're having a theme, um, six, Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. These are actually beautiful. I like the colors on these a lot. This is the page. Night. The queen. And finally, oh, this king. See, all the kings, they slap so hard. <laughs> I don't know why they do for me. Let's admire these. Uh, this edging again. It does have a little, see the lines here? There's like roughness there. But other than that, edging is cool. This is the deck. I don't know why... The majors weren't in order. Kind of pissed me off. But yeah, these are the stunning backs. The texture of this deck is lovely. Practically, will I be able to shuffle this? Um, hmm. Should I even try to? Should I even try to? Oh, I bumped into my Christmas tree. That's how you shuffle. <laughs> I guess that's how you shuffle. The long side, of course. No, you can kind of. You can kind of overhand it. Sideways? No way. My hands are too small. See, I can't even reach. See, I can't reach. Yeah, normally you would do it that way. So, no. you ha If you overhand this, this way. And even then, as you can see, things are threatening to fall out. So yeah, practicality wise, the length of this deck is not about it, but I am excited to learn Marseille with this deck. Besides my initial confusion over what card was what, um, 
it reads pretty well for me because, again, I understand um, Portuguese and by default a little bit of Spanish, too. I did not learn Spanish a bit in school, so I know it the most. Um, so I'm really excited to deep dive into this one um, to show. Oh, yes. Uh, this <laughs> that's a good way to end this video right here with. The king of swords, who, by the way, is one of my significant, uh, kind of one of my significators, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But anyways, um, thank you all so much for tuning in to this video to watch the flip through of Yonase Yao 7th edition. I cannot compare it to any other edition because this is the only one I've been able to get my hands on, but this is the most recent she will have some cards up on her website, so keep track of the Yonase Yaos website for when this deck, the last remaining bits of this deck come out. Otherwise, you'll just have to wait to see if she does an 8th edition. Um, maybe she will. Probably a different coloring than this. If you are interested in this color scheme, this particular color scheme, try to get your hands on this copy. Sometimes she posts... She gets some other editions back in her ordering. To be honest, I really like the coloring of the 4th and 6th editions of this deck. But I'm really glad I have this edition because I do like this color a lot. And these lighter purples um, combined with the black and stuff. It's really cool. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching if you stuck around me and my confusion and... <laughs> trying to put this back together but I'm so excited this is my first tarot deck of this year this is the first one I've gotten that's new um I'm not gonna be getting a lot in between this year there's some I pre-ordered in advance and there's one other tarot deck um the creator of which I'm, uh, I'm I'll admit I'm a little bit I've been like stalking I've been waiting for that edition to come out but um besides that this is one of the few decks I'll be getting this year Kind of. Well, fewer than last year is the hope. I don't want to be spending a lot this year on decks. But yeah. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. And I will see you again next time. Bye!